Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome to the final episode of the 100 Day Challenge, starring Wigford. Where uh, my opinions on Wigford's run have not actually changed since the final episode, or since the first episode. I stated back then that she would be a fairly strong early game character. Uh, that she has the potential. Holy crap, we're just melting sanity. What are we doing? Hey, there's more rot. Yeah, whatever. It's all fine. It's all fine. She has the potential to be, or she is, she just is. She has a lot of early game potential. She is very strong in the early game. However, there's a big however, she has no late game. She cannot drink coffee. And I know I've mentioned that a bunch throughout the series, and I know some of you guys are like, well, coffee's not vital. It it really determines who's good and who's not. If Wigford does things half as fast as other characters and less than half as fast as someone like WX specifically, WX or Wolfgang, then she she just can't compete. She is a non-competitive character. She is fun. You should play her if you enjoy her. But that's the only reason to play her. That's it. That's it. If you like her player, if you don't, I wouldn't. Even after all this time playing her, I still think she's basically the worst character in Shipwrecked. Thanks to Shipwrecked, she has become the worst character because she has... You can blow off berries? What? I didn't know that. We should probably pick those then because we're going to need filler for this episode. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I believe she is actually worse than Warley. And you guys know how much I do not like Warley and think he is bad, even in Shipwrecked. Especially in Shipwrecked. I actually think he's a little bit better in Reign of Giants because you don't have to eat as much random food. Although eating butterflies is incredibly powerful in Reign of Giants still, as it is here. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's saying something, that my my old second favorite character I would rate after doing 100 days on her and really enjoying it. This was a fun playthrough. Please do not mistake it. This was a fun playthrough and I enjoyed it quite a bit. But the co complete, the complete lack of late game is just so demotivating. Like, we've basically done all we can do, and then this last, like, since dry season ended, we've just been waiting for the clock to end. There was nothing interesting we could do aside from building a base. We had no motivation to explore, because it would take us twice as long. I don't want to spend any time on the map screen. It would take us twice as long as any other character. Like, we got, we did get screwed over by some random. We didn't get a seal nato spawn. That stopped us from getting a, a iron wind, an iron wind. Iron wind would have given us a 50% speed boost on our boat compared to the 30% we can get from a cloth sail. But it what it wouldn't have mattered because that 50% speed stacks with people on coffee. It stacks with WX's overcharge. It stacks with mighty form Wolfgang's speed boost. She is the slowest character. Any advantage that you can gain from being more powerful in the early game, from having more access, more easy access to food in the, in the way of this, you know, jellyfish are food for her and they are everywhere. They are more common than berries are in Reign of Giants and she can eat them and they heal you for 10 HP. She's, she is insane. She is insane in the early game. She's insane in late game right now. We're going crazy. Maybe we're just... You know what? We don't need our backpack anymore. Get out of here. I'm done with you. We're going out in style. Let's wear this. This is wet, though. So we need to dry out. Which means we're going to burn these twigs. Wee! Yeah, fuel efficiency. Who cares? Burn it! Dry the suit off for me. Take it off so we don't lose as much sanity. We're trying to put it on so we don't go too crazy. Whoop! Kicked the desk. I'm sorry. Now it's done raining. Whee! 
Put our helmet back on. Yeah, I guess we'll start wearing our fashion gear. There we go. Very dapper. Okay. Much dapper. Such wow. Oh, man. It's hard to tell when it's nighttime. That's so efficient. And then we have these lights going on. Yeah, these... Okay, these are enough. That was close enough. That's good. That is excellent lighting. I enjoyed that. If we had another one down here, it'd be perfect. Oh, but it's good. It's good. It's good, and I'm happy, and I, I like the space, and I had fun building it. And I enjoy playing this character because she is fun. But I have to be objective whenever I try to rate her against other characters. Hey, you turn off those lights. No! I'm still here! <laughs> Terrible place to live. You're right. I have to be objective when I rate these characters, especially whenever it comes to making the tier list around... December whenever we finish this 100 day challenge on all of our characters and I see I can see no way in which Wigfrid will not be the lowest ranked character as tears come like she will literally be in her own tier because you can't you cannot compare her to other people because she she just has no late game like she is so strong in the early game she should be a good character she should be someone I could recommend to a new player. Like, oh, if you want an easy time, play Wigfred. She's excellent at combat. Uh, she starts with armor that also has some rain protection attached to it. Um, what else? Uh, she can destroy the Quacken really fast. So you probably you could more easily do that without a uh, repair kit. Now, I mean, you can already beat her without a repair kit, regardless. But it helps. It helps to have it. Get out of here. Don't take my sanity, bro. So, oh, I always... These last episodes are always a bit ranty. And I know I keep going over the same points. And it can't be that interesting. But this is important. These are the ones I have to look back to whenever I finish this on all the characters and be like, yeah, that was, that was true. And I love Wigford. She is fun. She's an interesting character. We surrounded ourselves with drawing racks, which is awesome. But she's, I mean, a lack of late game. She is in a tier of her own, and it's not a good tier. <laughs> like, even Wes is objectively better than her at everything in the game now. Because of coffee. Because of the potential that coffee gives you. Wes was made to be a challenge character. Warley was not made to be a challenge character, but I have shown multiple times how he is mathematically inferior to Wes. Especially in Shipwrecked. Especially in Shipwrecked. But uh, that that was the topic for Warley's video. In spite of all of that, she's worse than both of them. Even though, I don't know, she has so much going for her. It's sad. And I feel sad and bad. And I hate to say that. But she's not good. At no point did I feel powerful. And I did at many points throughout this playthrough feel slow. And we had our walking cane, and we're compensating with these roads. But if we were WX, we could start this foot race now, and we'd be done. We'd be at the end of this road by the time we got to that drying rack on her. He can do so much, it's stupid. If we were Wolfgang, it would be the same. No, no, Wolfgang would not be as fast as WX. But everyone would be faster. Everyone would clear that half in half the time she would. Coffee is 86, 87% speed boost. It is almost doubling. It is one number off of doubling. It gives you 5 speed instead of 6, I think. I think that's the way it is. So it is so close. But, oh, it sucks to say that. It sucks, it sucks, and it feels bad, and I don't like it, but it's true. It's true. We're on day 99, the penultimate day, or the final day. The final day we have to survive, and then we call it at the 100th day. So guys, if you like Wigfred, I would play her. She has an insane early game. You're not going to die playing her. But no matter how strong you are, no matter how much you work, Wigfred will not be as strong as literally any other character who could get to the same point as her. In the first five, six days, doesn't matter. She's insanely strong. She's better than a lot of characters for those times. But the instant instant you find the volcano Wigfred is now worse than any other character 
And we avoided a lot of whining because I did not go exploring for the volcano, but we still should have. It would have helped us through dry season. It would have done a lot for us. But, no, it would have done nothing for us. I complain about that too. Like, what do we need the volcano for on Wigfred? What do we need shipwrecked for on Wigfred? Shipwrecked is what makes Wigfred bad. She doesn't want elephant cacti. Like, some auto farms are good, but it's fun to fight when you're playing Wigfred. That's her whole shtick. You're picking this character because you want to battle. Battle. Right? Why would you just outsource your fighting to elephant cacti? Is that a hound? No, those are just the pigs. Why would you want to outsource your fighting on a character that you picked because you want to fight? It doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, it's probably optimal, but you're picking this character because you want to battle. Right? And she is not as good against bosses as Wolfgang. Her strength comes because you don't have to waste a ton of food to kill spiders. Like, she's a little bit better fighting spiders. Right? Without having to go mighty. And yeah, there's not much of a cost of going mighty once you're really good at getting food. But still, it is a cost. It is something Wigfrid doesn't have to spend. It is easier on her. And that benefit is kind of lost if you set up auto farms using elephant cacti. Uh, what else can you get from the volcano? Coffee. We've talked that to death. You can also get obsidian tools. Most of these tools are not that good. I mean, they're good. Oh, they're, oh, they're okay. The only one that I would actually use is the axe. Uh, the spear is good, but it's not as good on Wigfrid as it is on, say, Wes. Because the extra damage it gains is a flat number that is not affected by multipliers. I think it's 51 extra damage it can get at max charge. Or whatever the whatever charge it starts getting. It gets more damage. Let's say 51. I might be wrong. When it gets 51 damage, that's just added on to whatever the total is. So, Wes gets a full 51 damage. Uh, Wolfgang gets a full 51 damage. Nobody multiplies it. So she doesn't benefit from that as much as other characters. Um, she benefits from it more than, say, Wolfgang does. Because, you know, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks on him. He gets screwed over by that. Let's just be honest. He gets screwed over by that. What is in this chest? Why did I give this bird a chest? Oh, it's the eggs! Oh, that's adorable! Oh, good job, Tasmisto. I forgot about that, and we we cheered ourselves up. That's cute. It's the big eggs. <laughs> as big as that bird. Okay. So... Yeah. Uh, until until Cappy or Clay or some act of Congress makes the game change such that Wigfred is able to drink coffee, there's no reason to pick her for any kind of any kind of serious or powerful run. Uh, the only reason to pick her is if you want to have fun, and that's fine. That's fine, but it's just really depressing that personally I'm not gonna have as much fun knowing that no matter what I do in the late game I'm useless that I am half the speed of any other character that it takes that in spite of me being a better warrior than Wes that I do more damage Wes will clear the ruins faster than me because he can cover all of that ground even though I'm killing enemies faster than he is He's getting to them faster. He's getting between them. He's mining his materials and traveling between those faster. He's spending fewer... Even though he's costing more hunger than it costs me, he's spending less hunger because he's traveling twice as fast as me. He's covering twice the distance for only 25% more food than I cover distance. That's insane. No character... No character should just be compared to Wes and then look bad. This is what we discussed with Warley. And it's sad. At least Warley is not way worse than Wes. I think he's like right at that power level. He's just right there with Wes. He's kind of a challenge mode person. He especially punishes new players who will struggle with things, but advanced players are going to be able to play him regardless if they like him. Oh. oh, that's that that's making the noise. Okay. So, 
Oh no. Man, no one should compare so poorly to Wes. I know we keep saying Wes is best, but being objective here, guys, come on. No one should be like, yeah, no. Uh, Wes is basically 66% better than I am. He uses like two thirds of the food I do to do as much as I do. That's not good. Wes is supposed to take more food. He's supposed to be harder. And no, I'm not saying don't make Wes, make Wes not be able to drink coffee. No, I'm not saying make uh, coffee exclusive to Warley. Because I think we discussed this during this playthrough. During development, coffee was a special recipe for Warley. It was going to be something only he could make in his portable crockpot. He couldn't even cook it in normal crockpots. But they changed it. Probably because in alpha test, people were like, are you serious? This is awesome. This is the best thing you've added to the game. And we want it on everyone. But they didn't flag it as meat. Or they didn't flag it as a non-food that you could consume. Or something. Something that would allow Wigford to eat it. And she was just screwed over by that. Guys, here we go. Dawn of Day 100. Oh, there are hounds coming. I kind of want to fight those hounds. Let's fight those hounds as we finish talking up. Talking about the end. Yeah, we have our dual side club. Come to me, beast! I want to battle you. I am ready. My body is ready. Oh... It's so sad. It's so sad. I hope you guys can feel how sad I am. I love this character, and it hurts to tell you guys, like, yeah, if you don't particularly love her, I can't recommend her to you to play. I can't recommend for you to play her. There's no reason to learn how to play her unless you super like it. Let's warm up. There we go. Whee! Well, there's all our sanity back. We killed him! Yay! No, I'm gonna wear this for the end. That's... That's much better. Mmm. No, she's a warrior. We'll end with this. Guys. Nobody should compare unfavorably to Wes if Wes is intentionally the challenge character. You know my feelings on that. And while we made it look easy to survive on her, and it is, she is, if coffee did not exist, she would be a pretty good character in Shipwrecked. It's really hard to imagine a landscape or a situation where coffee just ceases to exist. But she would definitely be up there because of how easy her early game is. She would be a character that I would recommend to new players with just the tip. You can eat jellyfish, and they're everywhere. And that's just that is enough for a new player to do amazingly on Wakeford. Amazingly. She can crush Shipwrecked because of jellyfish. But she has no late game at all. Because speed matters, and Don't Starve is first and foremost a time management game. And if it takes her twice as long to do something as Wes, then she's only half the character Wes is, and that's not good. I love her. I loved this playthrough. If you guys like Wigfrid, I highly encourage you to play her, especially in a shipwrecked-only mode, kind of like this. But once you start hopping back, once you get into very late day counts, past 70 or so, there is no challenge anymore, but there's no reward either. This is basically a sandbox for her. It's If you enjoy building a base, Wigfrid can do that here. If you just want to settle down and not really leave your island, that's fine. It'll take her a bit longer than other people, but she can do it. But you could do it faster on anyone else. And you could go on ruins raids. You could bring back tons and tons of Dulacite. You could bring back Thulacite walls to decorate your shipwrecked base with, or your Reign of Giants base with, depending on which one you want to work in. But not having access to coffee is just inexcusable. It basically deletes this character, who would otherwise be in the top 50%, I'm pretty sure, 
she crushes the early game so hard. She trivializes a lot of the challenge in Shipwrecked and completely neuters her own, like, not eating, not being able to eat anything aside from meat is not a downside in Shipwrecked because all of the food is meat. Limpets are meat. Jellyfish are meat. All the fish are meat. The only thing you can't eat are berries. And berries are not a primary food source for most of the game when you're struggling. Or when you should be struggling. So she crushes through the game with basically no weakness. Until the late game, where her weakness is, and now you're half as good as any other character. You'll take twice as long to do basically everything, unless you're just standing in place with your farms. Like, she can chop down trees just as fast as anyone, aside from Woody. Or Maxwell. If Maxwell's using his guys. Whatever. She can basically do everything else as fast. Oh god, it hurts to say all this. It hurts. I love Wigfred. And I know I'm just going to get quoted out of context. And I know when I do eventually write that tier list, once I finish all of these challenges and do all of this work to make sure I fully understand each character in practice by having committed 16 or more hours to each one just to measure their skills, power level, and their advantages and disadvantages in play, not through theory, but in play. And I still know when I post this and I put Wigfred at the bottom, one of the first comments is going to be, are you joking? Wigfred's amazing. How could you do that? And I know, I know I'm going to face that. That's going to be one of the first criticisms I see for sure. But right now we already know, like we're in February, or at least I'm in February when I'm finishing this video. I think we'll still be in February when I post it. Maybe we're in March. Oh God. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, spoilers! I think we're in. I think we're still February. Maybe not. It's a short month. Anyways, we already know our top and our bottom. Almost 100%. I can see no way, shape, or form of how any character could be worse than Wigfred. Because we were so painfully slow, and the game made sure I realized that. It didn't even let us have an Iron Wind. It didn't let us have the Doidoys. Everything went wrong everything to make sure I knew how bad it was to be slower than other people and we felt that the whole time so there's no way any other character could be worse than Wigfred so we know she is the bottom we'll give every other character a fair shot maybe y'all get surprised that's why we're doing this in practice but having done this in practice I can tell you I was suffering with how slow we were I enjoyed playing her but there were so many times I was like, oh my god, we're slow. Oh, what are we doing? And I tried to complain as little as I could about that. Because it's the same complaint I've had since before we started this. The same reason I haven't played her in over a year. Was it? In almost 14 or 15 months prior to this, I stopped playing her. Just because in theory, no coffee, okay, she's unplayable. And in practice, it works. It come, It's true. It's true. It works out in practice. She's basically unplayable with... Sorry, you know, no access to speed and of course say we have the top hammered out uh, I I do not see a way in which uh, Wolfgang could topple WX and I don't think any of the other s characters are going to surprise me and suddenly be incredibly more powerful in um, in Shipwrecked such that they topple uh, Wolfgang and uh, WX um I, I'm pretty much predicting Wolfgang's going to be two, but we're going to see. Like, maybe Walani's a lot better than I'm thinking. Oh, I've heard a surfboard is pretty good. I want to try it out and practice a bit more. Though uh, I am not optimistic. Maybe in hurricane waves it'll be good. Mm. But anyways, WX, no. Like, I don't see a way in which any character could dethrone him. His playthrough was so easy, it was boring. I wanted to quit. I was like, why am I doing this? This is a box-ticking exercise that I'm not having fun. We've done everything there is to do. And we didn't even do that playthrough amazingly. We were just so strong. It was, like, if we tried to do that again, we could probably clear the entirety of Shipwrecked in, like, 50 days. We could finish before dry season even came. And then world hop to a new one, most likely. Be fully upgraded. Have basically had no challenge. The water didn't matter. It didn't, like, oh, I thought, oh, I overplanned that playthrough. But he did not need it. So we have almost certainly our top and bottom of this tier list. We're going to have to work out 
the other's placements. I have general ideas about the people I've played where they're in re relation to others. A lot of them are going to be close. Maybe we'll just make like a nebulous tier. Like, okay, Wigford's definitely the bottom. She's in tier Wigford. WX at the top. He's in tier Broken Cappy. Please nerf this. And then we'll have like tier A where it'll be like Wolfgang and then these other people who are good. I don't want to spoil all of that yet. But there's there's no way that Wigford's not going to be the bottom. And that hurts. It hurts to see that. I was really hoping this playthrough would prove me wrong. And I did everything I could, everything in my power, to distract myself from the speed. We didn't go exploring. We didn't find the volcano. We didn't look for the volcano. We didn't want it. We just found a nice place to settle down. And it, it didn't work. It didn't work. And it never would. It never would work. No. She's just... She's the bottom. They need to change coffee such that she can drink it. Then she would be a good character. Not even an amazing character. She'd be an amazing early game character, which was supposed to be her job in the game. But she wouldn't be, you know, first or second or third, even. Anyways, guys, this was a pretty somber end. And I'm really sad ending in here. But, uh, let's look forward to the next one. I'm really sorry that I couldn't make Wigford be better than she is. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one, in a new season of the 100 Day Challenge. Otsukare sama desu.